it's me. If you don't already know, my name is Lisa. I love everything hair, skin, nails, makeup, and subscription boxes. Today I've got something a little different new to my channel. Uh, and that is me attempting to do hair extensions for the first time in my life. A company called Goo Goo Hair Extensions contacted me, asked me if I wanted to try their wonderful 100% human hair extensions. And I said, well, absolutely. So we got that in the mail. I got it in the mail last week, um, but I had to go away for the holiday weekend. So what I did is I made a quick video of me unboxing the hair and the little goodies they put inside it, which I'm gonna roll for you in just a second. And then we are going to get into actually trying to put these on. <laughs> so real quick, here's that video. Okay, everybody, so I am so excited. I got my Goo Goo hair extensions in the mail today. And this is what it looks like. Okay, it says, changeable life at your fingertips. And you get beautiful little satin bag. Let's see what's in our little satin bag. We get a hair tie to pull our hair back and a clip and it's a clip to where you can put a lot of hair in <laughs> it's a thick clip <laughs> oh and look at you get beautiful lashes to go with your beautiful new hair aren't those beautiful love them love them love them love them they don't have a brand on them but that's fine okay we've got some extra clips Some more extra clips and uh, extra wire or whatnot for the weft, the hair weft dealio. And these are, okay, this would be the weft, I take it. And these are heavy, heavy, heavy. And here are the clip-ins. Come in a nice hair net. And then it says lifetime hair accessories replacement guarantee. One clip broken, two fish wire problem, three hair tape, stop work. Okay, all of the above. So you must get, um, for your lifetime of your hair extensions, you can replace a broken clip once. You can um, replace the fish wire or problems twice or um, three hair tape stop working times or whatever but you know what I mean and then you get your goo goo hair booklet all about your extensions very cool let's get down to the nitty-gritty and open these bad babies up because I cannot wait to put these in my hair and show you how I do it let's see here okay This is their 16 inch dark brown, and this is the weft. And I will brush this and put a little spritzer and everything on it in a little while, and I will show you all of that. I just wanted to show you this real quick while I unbox it. And again, these are the 16 inches. And I'm not gonna untake these out because these are all the clip-ins. But this is how long they are. It's pretty good, pretty good size. I'm very, very happy. I'm probably gonna have to trim my hair a little bit, but that is okay. All right, we are going to go to the bathroom and get all of this put on. Okay, so now you can see all the beautiful little goodies they put in there. And I am going to, right now, I'm going to, um, I, what I did is I took all the hair and I don't have like one of those flat uh, hanger. I don't know, I see people put their extensions on these long flat hangers and it keeps them straight and flat. I don't have those, I just have these. So what I did is I put all the hair on these and right now sitting here i'm going to apply well attempt to put on the halo um i did straighten them 
last week. Uh, they, I mean, I probably could have done a better job, but it's not easy having them on here. I need to get the right hangers for them. I think it'll be a little easier because I'm, plus I'm just getting used to them. I'm really gentle with them and you know, all that stuff. So this is the halo and it is really silky soft. As you can tell, it's so shiny. It's just, and it is thick. Like just this weft is definitely thick. And let's see, I'll show you up here what it looks like. It's sewn in like this. There's four of these clips. And this right here, they send you different sizes to fit your head. If you have a small head, I have a big head, so I have the biggest one, but it's kind of like a bra strap. You un unclip it here, pull this out, do the same to the other side, and then you can, let's see, I've got my little dealio here with all the stuff in it. And then you can put whatever, they give you like, I don't know, maybe four different um, size wires or whatever. They're like a thick fishing line kind of, but they do have give to them, like you can stretch them. But then you have different um, clips in case something happens to yours. And then you also have more clips for the other clip-in extensions. So, you know, it's been a few days. Well, it's been actually almost a week since I got these, but I went out of town for a while. So of course I lost my uh, beautiful clip they gave me. So I am going to be using one of my own, but for this weft, I watched a bunch of different videos and all that good stuff. So I am going to try and do like they say, and that is take a bunch of hair, <laughs> wad it up on your head. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, just uh, kind of do this because you want that. Let's see. You want the top of the line to actually sit kind of up close here. And then it'll rest on the crown of your head, basically. So, let's see if I can do this in the first time. Whoops. Yeah, my hair is not normally this. Uh, I, don't, I mean, I know it doesn't look thick by any means, but it normally is a lot flatter and thinner looking because I have very fine, thin hair. But I did put some root lifter and mousse in it, and then I blow dried it. So it, you know, looks like it has some volume to it. So I'm just going to clip this up. Where's my clip? Like I said, I lost the clip they gave me. Oh, here's one. Oh, that's not a hair clip. Where's my hair clip? Uh-oh. Yeah. Hey, let's do this. <laughs> let's try this. We're just gonna, here we go. Okay, so I've got this up. Let's see if we can see the back. Yeah, see? How's that? Okay, now I'm going to just brush this again. And then we're just going to lay it up on there. Lay it up on there. We're going to open these clips up first. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now oh, this hair is so silky smooth. Isn't that beautiful? 100% human hair. Very thick. This is beautiful. I got the 18 inch, so shiny. No, 16 inch. They have 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22, I think. Now, if I am wrong, I'm probably not that far off. Because <laughs> that's about what I am. The 14 inch is the smallest. 16 inch is the second shortest. Okay, see, I'm going to put that little wire right there. I'm just going to let this kind of see if that sets nice, you know, and uh, comfortable. And then I am going to clip these in the back. Kind of get the comb into your hair, set it in there a little bit. 
and then clip. And now I'll do the sides. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull all this up or out or, you know. Wow. Okay, now what you wanna do is kind of just comb over that like that. Blends it right in. Wow. I have girth to my hair. <laughs> Who doesn't like some girth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, and then you kind of do that. Mm. Let me see what's going on here. Did I do this right? Sorry, I'm just, you know. Never done this before, but I'm showing you, with me not ever having done it before, I guess it also shows you just how easy this is because you can have, you can watch people that have done this a million times and they make it look like, of course they're gonna make it look easy and simple because they do it all the time. Me, I'm telling you right now, I've never applied a hair extension in my life, never even felt one. And I'm doing it for the first time right here in front of you. So it shows you just how easy this really is. And it feels amazing. I'm going to show you. Do you see anything in the back besides hair? <laughs> A snaky ton of hair. Oh, it feels so good. Okay. Hopefully it's looking good back there. It's really, really soft. My hair on the other hand has product in it. So, you know, but look how good it matches color wise and uh, lengthwise. Like most people I know a lot because a lot of girls want their extensions to be longer, the whole part of Point of getting them is so they can have long hair or longer hair so to blend it in they take a curling iron and you know put curls in it and it you know they'll take okay let's say this is the length of their regular hair and then they got these long extensions so they'll take pieces of their real hair and the extension hair like that and curl it and it just mixes it together you know it so you can't see the different sizes but mine is <laughs> basically the same length. Now I have th this short piece right here because my hair um, is, you know, shaggy. My bangs start and then they shag down. So or however you wanna say it, you know what I'm trying to say. But up here is the, uh, up here, Is the wire somewhere right here I think yep right here hey getting my face all close to the camera making weird faces at you sorry about that but how does it look look good Okay, what we're gonna do now, so I'm gonna leave this in my hair for a little bit because it feels so good. Um, I'm gonna move us to my bathroom. <sighs> Don't judge me, please. My bathroom is, let's just say it could be better, could be cleaner, but I'm in it every day. I trash it every day. I try to keep it clean, but <laughs> it's definitely not, you know. A spick and span so no judgment there but I am going to take you to my personal bathroom and uh, you're going to get to know me on a more personal level there 
because I'm gonna do the other extensions in there just to make it easier. And hopefully you can see me doing the back and everything a little bit easier, okay? So, see you in a minute. Okay, we're in my bathroom. I know my little Christmassy lights look like hell, but I did my best. <laughs> okay, anyways, so let's, I'm gonna show you the back of my hair. See a line anywhere? I don't see a line anywhere. If I do, don't tell me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So this is the, remember the halo weft. This is the top. Like I can put my hair any which way. Let's see, to show you, I can put it on the side. I mean, you can brush your hair with this end like this. You can change, put it in the middle. I can part it on this side if I want. You know, you're not just stuck. Ooh. Look at me. Woo, look like an 80s rocker. Rock on, dude. <laughs> um, okay, so this looks a little weird only because I blow dried my hair this way. <laughs> but even with this little, uh, you know, the, I'm going to call it the fishing wire or fishing line. <laughs> even with that in, you can still brush your hair, make it beautiful, you know. <sighs> so this is the weft. And I really think the weft is great if you are in a hurry and just want to throw some hair in. And this is plenty of hair to give yourself a full, thick head of hair on the, you know, on the, not on the go, but, you know, real quick, real easy. And then to take it out, what we're going to do is we're just going to unclip these two, come in the back. Unclip these two, and then, let's see. Oh, yep, I can just kind of grab it and pull it out. Now, whoo. See the big difference? Like, I have no hair, it is so. Like if I were to put a pony right here, it is so blasted tiny. I have like no hair, look at how thin that is. <laughs> I have thin, thin hair. And here is my beautiful hair that I love so much, so much. Isn't it so shiny? It feels so soft, like, and again, these are the 16 inch uh, extensions. Let me see if I hold it back here, you can really see how long or how short they are. If this lays like this, about here, you know, it's, look at that. It's pretty much the length, pull that up. It's almost exact length of my hair right now. So I did a pretty good job guessing. Everybody's like, oh, you should have gotten them longer, but I didn't want them longer. I wanted to them to match my hair right now because my whole thing, why I've always wanted it is extensions is, yeah, it would be nice to have really beautiful long, long hair once in a while. But for the most part, I just want to add volume and thickness to my already fine, thin, sad locks. <laughs> so this is the weft. We're gonna put that away and let me grab out the other ones. Okay, so I just put it on my hanger. Again, they do have hangers that are, they're somehow flat all the way across. I don't know if they, the clip goes just one flat clip across. I don't know, I just see other women on videos doing it, but these are the only things my Walmart had are these kinds, so I just got them. And I just put these between the clips. I don't put it on the clips, I just put it between it so I can then keep it nice and hang it up um, when I'm not using it. Okay. Now, what we have here is, sorry about the noise. <laughs> okay, now we have a weft of this is the biggest one this is one two three four clips and it looks like this got this much hair very shiny the hair is all of them are is just beautiful it's um very natural obviously it's real hair so it's going to be natural well, it should be natural right so they give you a clip of four 
And then, sorry, my eyes have been watering all evening and it's just driving me nuts. And my nose is running. <laughs> so I'm just a bit of a little mess here. But then they also give you these. There's two, three clippers. So you get two of these. I just have them together, you know, um, clipped together and I put the clips again, kind of like right here. Isn't that beautiful though? Just look how shiny that is. Oh, okay, so I get those. And then there's more. You get two, two clippers. So there's two clips on these two. One, two. Very thick too, like it's really thick. And then you get two one clips. So there's a total of two, four, six pieces in the clip-in extensions. I definitely would suggest, because they also have the tape-in extensions where you get them in, and there's, I think if I'm saying this right, there's two like this, and there's a uh, double-sided sticky tape or something, and you sandwich the hair together between the tape. I believe that's how that works. Um, but I didn't want that. I wanted something more long-term. I know they give you extra tape, you know, so over time when that, the first tape or whatever, you know, starts to get unsticky, then you can replace it with other stickies and stuff like that. I don't know, just to me, this seemed easier and being my first time ever using them, I just thought it would be easier for me and, and quicker and all that stuff. So I went with these, but I would suggest for somebody that's just starting out for sure to get a weft, the, um, the halo weft and the clip-ins. So you have both, you know? Okay, now we, oh yeah, I'm sorry, you don't get five, you get, I'm dropping everything. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I forgot the, the four clipper, so you get, Two ones, two twos, two threes, and one four. So that's a total of seven hairs. You get seven hairs. <laughs> now I've seen different ways of doing this. Everybody has, you know, their own special way of doing this or that. Now, somebody like me that has fine thin hair, you can just throw them in and be good to go. But um, I feel more comfortable um, throwing, okay, when I, I'm gonna, I'll just explain it to you as I go. So you can do it all different ways. Everybody's head size and shape is different. So where a four might fit good on me, it might not fit good on somebody else. Like I see a lot of people that start about right here and they'll put a four, four clip, you know, for the first row. But I think my head's a little small for that down here. I have a big head, but like, I feel like it's not long. It's kind of short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little bit of hair on the bottom. Okay, let me go like this. Like, my, remember, this is the first time I've ever done this, so please bear with me. Okay. Oh, where's my mirror? Okay, I'm gonna grab my mirror one sec. Okay. I grab some hairspray. What I'm going to do is, I think, let's see how much room I have back here. I am going to, hmm, I'm gonna put a three clip extension back there, but because I have such fine little baby hair here, I am going to put a little hairspray right here, along here, and then I'm going to back comb it just a little bit. Nothing crazy. You're not going to get a bunch of rat's nest or anything like that. Like um, just enough to where it gives them clips a little extra mm, to, to grip onto. Okay. So bear with me. I know you're, you can't really see anything when I do that, can you? How about I do this? I can, oh, come on now. Let's see in the back of the back of the camera here. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I put a little hairspray there. And now I'm just going to back, whoops, it's hard to do backwards. I'm just going to back comb a little bit. I'm probably doing more than, than I need to, but like I said, this is my first time I've ever worn these, so I'm a little, not nervous, but I just want to make sure I do a good job, especially of, you know, having the review here. So I've never seen anybody back comb it probably as much as I just did, <laughs> but I can be a little extreme at times. <laughs> so you just want to kind of make sure your hair is all good. And then one clip, two clip, three clip. Let's see how I can do this by looking in the camera. Okay. I'm going to put the middle clip in the middle. And then this one right here. That one right there. Feels nice and secure. Let's brush this out. And when I brush it out like this, I can kind of get a little bit of that extra back combing that I did that I probably went down too far and didn't need. So I'm just gonna brush that or comb that out real quick. Okay, now I got my first one in, yay! All right, now, this right here, I swear, is already thicker. This is probably the thickness of all of my hair total. <laughs> and like I said, I already lost the clip they sent me, so I'm just using a little crappy one that I had. Ooh, I got hairspray in my hair. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. Oh well, it's not the uh, greatest of Hairsprays I've ever used. It's a good hairspray, but you know. All right, so that feels nice and secure, even though I think it, it's not real even. I think one side's lower than the other, but that's okay. Okay, and then, okay, so I put the other one probably about here. I'm gonna go up just barely above my ears, so I have enough room to put that big four clipper in. Okay, now I've got this up. I don't think I'm gonna back comb up here just because my hair is gonna lay on top of it and I have thin hair and I don't want it to be like, I don't know if it would look bumpy, I just don't want it to look bumpy just in case. So I'm going to just spray it because just the hairspray alone does give it a lot of grip, you can tell that. But I like to brush it after the hairspray, not all the way up, just a little bit, just to get it out of the hair I don't want it in, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's grab the three clip. We'll put that in the back. Gosh, my eyes won't stop watering. Okay, we're gonna do the clips. Good. Now, what do you think? I think I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna take a little bit higher up and just put one on each side so I've got a little thickness, more thickness on the sides. There's so much hair, oh my gosh, I love it. It feels so crazy cool. Okay, and what I like about these is you can still brush your hair. You gotta be like, Jenna, you don't wanna go, 
you want to kind of pull out as you're brushing down but you can kind of feel where to and where not to brush so you know what i'm saying okay i did screw up i can already feel it i got let me think i think I, oh no i didn't i think that's just hairspray yep okay we're good Never mind. I thought maybe I had the clips above my um, part, but I don't. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look at the back. It's hard to get used to. Like, it feels like you would know I have all these clips in my hair, but you really can't. You can't see it. It's crazy. I do feel something right here. What is this? Okay. Nope. That looks great. Wow. Uh, so crazy. Look. I don't know if you can see good. Like, I can feel them in. But when I look in the mirror, you don't see anything. Wow. I almost, I don't know. I keep thinking I see something here, but then I move my hair and it looks good. But okay, we're just gonna leave it. It'll be fine. Now I'm gonna take right here and I'm gonna put, um, sorry, my eyes, one, the one piece is here. So let's do that real quick. And because I got crazy with my hairspray, I can already feel hairspray right here, so I'm not going to spray again. Should I put one or two here? Should I put twos? Let me think. I have two one pieces left and two two clips left. I think I'll just put the one clip in. I could put two, though. I've got room for two clips, but I don't know. Let's just try this first. I'm going to back comb it a little bit though. Yeah, back combing makes a huge difference, huge. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. I should be, huh? Okay, makes a huge difference back home. Yeah. Oh, drop this one on the floor. This one is a lot lower than the other one. Hold on, let me look in the other mirror. Oh, it's because, it's because of my back combing skills. <laughs> okay. This one's still a little lower than this one, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Oops, what did I do here? Oh. That's a lot of hair in my hair. <laughs> a lot. Wow. Definitely, um, 
you can feel it. It is heavy. It doesn't feel bad heavy though. It's not like, oh, I can't move my head. It's so freaking heavy. <laughs> How's it look? I think it looks great. Now what I want to do is throw a little curl into them and see how they look. How's the back look? Look good? I don't know. I don't really want to curl it right now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to, I got a couple videos to make some unboxings and I like the way it looks right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go unbox a couple videos and then I'm gonna curl it and then I'll come back to you with it curled. So this is me and my flat extensions and I'll come back with them curled. So hang out right there for a second, just a second. Okay, I'm back. I did a few videos for my YouTube channel that were long overdue. But anyways, I am back and I am going to attempt to put some curls into this beautiful mop I have. I just wanna show it to you. This is after just, you know, doing some videos and talking to my kid and, you know, all that stuff. And, oh, and if you see a bunch of white stuff on my, on my sweatshirt, it's just fuzz and it's because I got a new robe in one of my boxes and I tried it on and it left little fuzzies. So to mine out of the gutter and just putting that out there. <laughs> my shirt is not dirty. Okay. I've got two different types of curling irons. I've got a curling wand by Foxy Bay. And then I've got a curling iron, old school, by Remington. So we're going to use them both because I'm not real great with the curling wand yet, but I am learning. And I do like it, but I want to see different size curls because see the different, the, the wand is that size, the that is that size. Let's see, is this hot? Okay, back on. I'm going to kind of put this here. And let's see, I'm going to try to make you as much involved as possible. I'm not going to do it all on film, but I am going to try and do some of it on camera. And remember, this is 100% human hair, so we can curl it, we can straighten it, we can do pretty much anything with it. You want to wash it as well, just like you would your regular hair. Depending on how much you, oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Oh, wait a minute. Depending on how much you wear them, yeah, I did, <laughs> um, is depending on how much you need to wash it. If you wear them every day and style them every day, I believe you would want to wash them maybe once a week, once every other week or something, just to get product build out, up, out like hairspray and all that just regular everyday grime. But if you only wear them, you know, once in a while or, uh, you know, once a week or something like that, you could probably get away with washing them once a month, I would think. But it just depends, like I said, on how much you wear them and how much product you use in styling with them. Because remember, these... This is real hair, but it is not connected to our body anymore. So there's no natural oils getting um, dispersed throughout the hair. So you want to keep them clean and you want to keep them hydrated because they will dry out. You know, all hair will if it's just dead hair, not connected to anything. There's got to be a way to get natural oils and things on there. Why is this... This didn't really curl well. Um, and you want to use a heat protector, just like you would your regular hair. And I already put a heat protector on it um, earlier when I straightened them. So they do have a heat. I used this B2Z Beyond the Zone from Sally's. That right there is hairspray, but I used the uh, heat protector, the thermal heat protector on them when I straightened them earlier. 
So they already have that going for them. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm just going to do the bottoms. Let's try this again. Not real great with this curling wand, but I will learn. I will get it. I think you do it upside down like that. Maybe that's where I was going wrong because I'd like a little bit smaller curls in the front. What is going on with my lipstick? It's getting everywhere. Oh, hey, look at that. You see it? I know it's dark hair, so it's a little hard to see. But I think it did it all right. Oh, did I turn that off? Yep. Oh, we want to go this way. But see, this is where I run into a problem here. Let's go like this. Let's try. Come on, Lisa, get it together. Get it together. I hope this helps um, people out. <laughs> there was a couple really good informative videos that I watched. Um, and I really, they really helped me get an idea about hair extensions and everything about them. Now they didn't really cover the washing. Like that's the thing, I would find one video that talked, oh, I did it wrong, oh well. That talked just about like keeping them clean and hydrated. Another one would be good about, you know, telling me how to put them in and everything, but I never found one good video that had everything in it, like from uh, putting them in to keeping them clean to what I can put on them. Like that's another thing. Okay, Lisa, you can, you want to keep them hydrated and you want to use um, heat protector and you can put product on them. Well, what can't you put on them and what, what is good to put on them? Is there, can I put anything on them? All that stuff. Okay, let me go through with what I've learned. Now, never quote me because I'm never 100% accurate on anything. <laughs> um, okay, when you wash them, a good way to do it. Fill your sink full of soapy water. I'm gonna have to fix this because it's going backwards or it's going forwards and I want it to go the other way. Um, soapy, when I say soapy, I mean shampoo. Fill your sink, put a little bit of shampoo in it, fill it with warm water, not hot, not cold, just warm. And set your extensions in there gently and kind of, you know, around gently, but don't, you know, don't be rough with your extensions. Act like they would be your hair. Be very, you know, gentle with them. But um, anyways, put them in there, let them soak a little bit, you know, swish them around a little bit so they can get clean. And then take them out, empty the water, and then put some conditioning water in there. You know, fill your sink, put some conditioner in there, put them in there, you know, gently. Um, squeeze the water out like this, like you would your hair, never go up like this, just, just like your hair. Like you, you take your hair like this and you kind of squeeze the water out like that. And then you hang them to dry and you want to put a leave-in conditioner in them. Um, I know you want to stay away from silicone products, like any type of products that have like the silicone dioxide or whatever, something like that in there. Stay away from that kind of stuff. But as for oils, like an almond oil or jojoba, argan oil, um, you put a few drops of that on there. And what I like to do with my real hair is I uh, put a few drops of oil in my hands and put it on my hair, not not the root part, but from like here down with a type of argan oil or something about 15 minutes before I wash it. Let that soak in real good. And then I wash my hair. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing with my extensions. I'm going to put the oil on, let it soak in for longer than 15 minutes though, because these are extensions obviously. So I'm probably going to let it soak in for an hour or so and then wash them. 
If I feel that they're really getting dry, then I'm going to let it set on overnight and then, um, then wash them out the next day or wash them out the next day. But that way you can get some good oils incorporated back into them. And like I said, always use a heat protector, um, a leave-in conditioner. Now, when it comes to products like smoothing products, like I've got the uh, uh, bed head, what is it? Let me, let me show you. Like this. This is it's called After Party, and it is a smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. I'm not sure if I should put that in there or not. I think it would be okay. Um, I have to look at the ingredients, but I can't read them because right now it's too small and I have my glasses. So I don't know if it has any of that silicone stuff in it. But I think that if I take good enough care with the oils before I wash it and then putting a leave-in conditioner in it afterward, well, conditioning it as well, shampoo and condition, and then putting a leave-in conditioner in it and then a heat protectant, I think I should be okay you know, and not have to worry about, should, you know, am I able to put other uh, smoothing products in it or curling products or whatnot. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay, I am going to fix this. I'm going to finish curling the rest of this and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, another thing I wanted to touch on real quick as I'm sitting here curling my hair, I thought about this, um, shedding, okay? Uh, a lot of things, like you get brushes when you first get them, you know, you kind of pull and you get shedding. Anything with like hair, this and that. I have not had any shedding with these extensions. None. I, I assumed and I was expecting, okay, Lisa, you know, don't just know, you know, assuming there's probably going to be some shedding and stuff. Like don't hold it against the company. I'm sure they're still going to be good, blah, blah, blah. So when I first got them, you know, I'm kind of fingering through them. <laughs> brushing through them is no shedding none and and even sometimes when, and they haven't really gotten snarly or anything at all like they've because they're so silky like it's not like my real hair to where it's like constantly nodding up I haven't had anything like that but even just a little bit of you know pull I might have because I when you know moving them around and trying to get them on this this and that you know just like a teen, like there's no shedding none so that's another thing I really wanted to uh, put out there that you don't have to worry about shedding because I have not had any. <laughs> and to me, that is very uh, impressive just because most things naturally are going to have shedding when you put things together, you know, and sew them together however they do it. I would expect that there'd be shedding, but there's not. So, okay, I'm gonna go back, finish this. I'm almost done. Okay, so I did a curl job. This is what it looks like in the back. Oh, little flyaways. This is the front. Guess I didn't do the greatest curl job, but I was just trying to hurry up and get it done and, you know, show you the gist. And I think I covered everything from the unboxing, the beautiful. I just love this. This is so cute. Like, I am so glad that um, this is Goo Goo Hair Extensions are the first experience that I'm having with hair extensions because it's been a very pleasant one, an amazing one, to be honest with you. And it really has just made me love hair extensions. Now, they might not all be this quality or this, you know, easy to work with or whatever. I don't know. Um, but I know these ones are and I'm very thankful for that. But I think I covered everything from the unboxing um, to putting them you know, the two kinds that I have anyways, I don't have the um, taping ones, but I would love to someday be able to have those and do a video for you and learn as well while I do that. That would be really fun. Um, so who, if you need somebody to do tape and extension, uh, you know, tutorial, I'm open for it. <laughs> but other than that, okay, so putting them in, doing the weft and the clip-ins, 
washing them, caring for them, keeping them hydrated and moist to um, how long they can last. You know, I've heard that if you wear them every single day and you curl them, you straighten them, you, you know, are hard on them a little bit that they can, you know, last up to, you know, six to eight months. But I've, this is what I've heard. Like I said, I've not had the pleasure, but I've tried to do a lot of research on, and this isn't just goo goo hair extensions. This is just hair extensions as a whole. So obviously you're going to get some that are better than others, some that are worse than others, you know, quality wise and all that. So this is just going as a broad. Um, but then I've heard that if you, you know, wear them on an average, like here and there, you know, a few times a week or whatnot, and you care for them good, they can last for years. Um, one lady I watched, she had had hers um, and they were goo goo hair extensions. She had had them for years. She didn't say exactly how many. She just said, she's like, I've had these for years. You know, she gets all different ones and she has more than just goo goo, but, um, she's like a hair extension kind of sore. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, to, let's see how long they last, how they feel. They feel great after they're in for a while. You totally don't even feel them at all. It's just at first you're like, can somebody see my tracks? Like that's. It's just like wearing a bra for the first time. You get your training bra or whatever, and you're just like, oh, I can tell everybody's going to see it. Or you wear a freaking pad for the first time. When you start your period, you're like, everybody can see it through my pants, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> so it's basically the same thing, I think. And after a while, then you don't even feel them in. Um, you can still brush your hair. Like I said, you can still put your fingers through it. You can still style it. Like right now, I could go and straighten it now if I wanted to. But yeah, so that is... Uh, I think that sums up the video. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. There is one thing that I missed that I am going to do a tutorial on, and that is putting my hair up in a ponytail with extensions so I can have a big, beautiful, full extension ponytail because you see some people have the ponytails that the extension is just for ponytails. You put your hair in a ponytail and then you basically wrap the extension around it or you clip it in or whatever, and it looks all right. Like I've seen some but they don't look as natural because the ponytail itself is a slightly different color or a different texture. There's a lot of reasons why they haven't, but then I seen some um, Google, 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 Google um, tutorials about hair extensions and stuff. And they were showing how you clip in the extensions, just slowly pull your ponytail up, clip them in backwards, kind of upwise like this and do a ponytail in it is all blended in perfectly. You can't see the tracks at all. It just is, and it's a big, beautiful, full ponytail. So next I am going to attempt that. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go easy. I think it will because these were so easy to do. Um, but I'm going to do a tutorial for big ponytail extension, extensions with a big ponytail, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, so I look out for that video because I'm excited to do that because I I love big, beautiful, fluffy ponytails, and I'm not a big ponytail wearer because normally my hair is so fine and thin, and it just looks like a little skinny, tiny rat tail. <laughs> but now that I'm gonna have these, I won't. I won't have that situation. So, look out for that. Thank you for watching. I hope I could give anybody help, and I recommend if anybody's looking for extensions, definitely check out Gugu because they are, in my experience and being first timer, great. Like met beyond all my expectations because I just can't believe how real, I mean, they're, they're real hair, but it's just how real they feel in on, how they blend, how soft and smooth and just the perfect color, everything. And I just got dark brown, by the way, my color you can get you can get all different colors. You can get them to match your specific highlights or lowlights or whatever. Like they've got basically every color and or colors that you need. But I am just a straight dark brown girl. So that's all I needed. And it literally came perfect. And like I said, I got 16 inch. Yeah, because I had 14, 16, 18, right? Mm, yeah, I got 16. And um, it's just all perfect. And they, they, you know, you have a little book here. Yeah, 16 inch, it says right there. But you have a little book, book. you got to book. <laughs> and it gives you 
like all different, it tells you all about them, all different ways you can use them and care for them. And I haven't read the book yet. And that is very poorly done on my part. <laughs> I should have read this book before I did this video. And hopefully all the information, oh, here's the tape in ones. Those are pretty crazy. Hopefully all the information I gave you was good. Um, if it's not, please let me know if I got anything wrong or if, you know, something seems misguided or something, please let me know in the comments or if you have had a different experience or can give me some tips and tricks, please let me know. Because like I said, this is the first time I've ever even touched a hair extension in my life. So um, I am open yeah, to all tips and tricks. Um, yeah. So thank you um, for staying and watching. And I really hope I could have helped some people out and I appreciate it. So Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like if you like this video, please give me a like and click all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and share this video on social media so other people can, it can get out for other people to um, learn how to use them, different reasons why it might help them because it's not all just to make your hair longer, you know? There's a lot of reasons why um, to, to look into hair extensions. So please, um, share this video on your social media and I am thankful that you watched me. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm just rambling. It's, it's late and I've done so many videos today. My allergies are horrible. My makeup's just all wiped off because my eyes are watering. My ears are popping. Oh, it's just been a long, long day. And by the way, I know you're in my bathroom. And I warned you that my bathroom is like trashed, but you're, you've probably been looking at these boxes for like the past half an hour. And I don't know if you're, if I'm showing them good, but, uh, they all have like serums, hair, sleep masks, things like that. Actually, I don't know if you can see that good. Anyways, here I am back. But what it is, is those, those are all my extra I have boxes full of extra product. And I really don't know like what to do with it right now. I want to keep them good. And so anyways, that's my, <laughs> that's my leftover stuff in my bathroom. I know it's, um, you know, but I don't know. See, I'm rambling again, but that's, I know you've been looking at that tower and probably wondering what the hell is that? It's just extra products from everything. And that's my mirror. It's my filthy, filthy, sink that's my old man's my old man he's not old he's younger than me that's my man's side so that's the who cares about that side right <laughs> here's my tub my wonderful filthy tub that's got product everywhere there's my closet full of more product products there's my shower there's a walk-in closet there's a toilet room my bedroom's in there but anyways, now you've got to know me on a more personal level. <laughs> All right. Take care and we will see you next video. Bye.